Good morning. Happy Saturday. Um, thank you for um, joining me again. For all of you that's new, thank you for stopping by. Hopefully, um, there will be some information that will help you on your journey. To all my old subscribers, thank you for just coming by and watching my journey. So, as always, I am going to start off with some Bulletproof Coffee. Today is wet and cold and kind of yucky and for some reason I kind of feel the way the weather is. It's like I want to go jump back in bed, turn on my blankie and just zone out and watch TV. But I have a little bit of cooking to do. We're probably going to cook together. I haven't quite figured out my first meal but when I do I will let you guys know but for now it's coffee time and I will be right back with you. Okay, I still haven't quite figured out my breakfast yet, but can we admire this bacon? Don't this look delicious? This could be part of my breakfast, but I'm still on the fence. So I just put this in the oven at 350, sprinkled some pepper on it, and just let it cook. It smells so good. My house smells good. It smells like bacon in here. So... I don't know, maybe this is part one of meal prep. We'll see. I'll be back. Okay, more cooking. Some salmon, some baked salmon with a lot of spices on it. And are you ready for this, people? A plate full of liver cooked in butter. I salt peppered um, this. So, a little tip, if you soak your liver in a little bit of milk, and for those that are dairy free, if you soak it in something like a nut milk, a sugar free nut milk or something like that, or a milk alternative, for a little while, it removes some of that metallic flavor. And I think that's what a lot of us just cannot stand is that strong metallic flavor. So, plate full of liver and I'm getting my breakfast pulled together and we're gonna see what I'm gonna have and this will be my breakfast uh, well okay my first meal because it is now 3 19 p.m. and I'm getting around to my first meal so I have some liver and I have one egg and two egg yolks and this is meal number one, and I am going to grub down on it. Okay, I am back. I'm sorry for the lighting. Um, I am in my bedroom, and it is Sunday morning. Forgive my bed head. It looks a mess. Um, I totally spaced out on finishing out, closing out, rather, my video for Saturday, my full day of eating. I did what I said I was going to come upstairs, zone out with a little TV. It was funky weather, which made me feel a little bit funky or whatever. I did just that. I zoned out. I slept. I watched TV. The TV watched me, and that was it. So, to clue you in, um, the only thing I had yesterday, I think after my um, breakfast, I had a piece of salmon and um, a little bit of broccoli and that was it um, and I said I wanted to talk with you guys so I want to talk about a doctor's appointment I had and the results from that I did some blood work and my blood work for the most part was just it was just fine um, the only problem is that my A1C was elevated and the doctor said, well, that now makes you pre-diabetic, not diabetic, but pre-diabetic. So the cutoff point for A1C being normal is 5.5. Mine was, um, 5.8 not bad not horrible or anything um don't need any medication 
She asked me, did I want to go to a dietitian? I said, no, I don't want a dietitian pushing the standard American diet on me. And um, just some information, when I did this blood test, my fasting glucose was only 81. So if you're going by your fasting glucose and saying, oh, I'm fine, oh, I'm fine, that may not be the case behind the scenes. The A1C gives the real deal. So I would encourage everyone to make sure your A1C levels are where they need to be and you're not diabetic, pre-diabetic or whatever. So um, what that means, um, I had a long chat with my doctor and told her how I'm eating and what's going on. And she said, she's gonna check it in a few months. She said, Aretha, why don't you incorporate some exercise and weight training? So a lot of you may know already, I do the bulk of my exercises, I walk. I try to get in between six to 10,000 steps a day. So I'm going to incorporate some weight training and see how that works for me. And if that will actually affect the numbers, I'm not too much drastically going to tweak my diet. Sorry, the camera and everything. Ugh, that's bad. Okay, better. Um, I'm not going to tweak my diet a whole lot. Um, as you saw, I did cook some liver. So I'm going to incorporate um, more um, healthy meats, um, organ meats into my diet. So my goal is once a week to eat some liver, to eat salmon or some type of fatty fish, um, and find a good program. Um, next, next door to where I work, there is a... Um, a workout place and uh, I keep saying about every other month I'm gonna go check it out and I never check it out so I might just be checking it out or we'll check it out together and see what it's all about and how expensive it is cuz it would be convenient I'm right there at work at lunch I can work out or before work I can work out or right after work so um, we'll see how that goes like I said I'm not changing a whole lot just tweaking some things and to see if that yield some results I'm just adding in like more healthy um, meats the organ meats and I ordered some supplements and I'm going to be taking some supplemental things out of my diet so once it gets here I will show you the supplements I plan on taking and do a whole video around that but again I apologize I didn't wrap up everything yesterday I'm wrapping it up today it is Sunday and I hope everyone have a wonderful Sunday and I am going to finish my food prep don't forget to follow me on Instagram because I post there daily and you can see what's going on with me. And I will check in with you guys next week on my full day of eating. Thank you so much for following me and have a wonderful day.